Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far we have completed eight problems on binomial distribution where individually we have calculated what is the probability. But from ninth problem onwards, we are going to find out the expected frequencies as per binomial distribution, right? Now, ninth problem. Before starting the ninth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always take a printout and keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points of ninth problem, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the ninth one. <clears throat> Four coins are tossed 160 times. Number of heads observed at each throw is recorded and the results are given below. So, the experiment is throwing of coin. When you throw the coin, there are two possible outcomes, head or tail. The probability of head is 1 by 2 and probability of tail is also 1 by 2 when you throw a single coin. But here we are throwing four coins at a time. And how many times this experiment is being done? 160 times. Then actual data is recorded. Number of heads at a throw zero. Frequency 18. That means out of four coins, no head at all. All the four coins are showing tails up. This happened how many times? 18 times out of 160 times. Then one head. That means out of four coins, one coin is showing head and the other three coins are showing tail. This happened for 52 times. Two head, two tail, it occurred 54 times. Three head and one tail, it occurred how many? 32 times. And all the four coins shows head. How many times? Four coin, four times. So this is the actual frequency data. But we have to find out find the expected frequency as per binomial distribution finally it is asking you to calculate expected frequency by applying the binomial probability law for binomial probability law the main parameters are n and p n means number of times oh, so not number of times but how many coins are tossed at a time four coins are tossed n is equal to four p is equal to probability of getting head the probability of getting head in a single throw is 1 by 2. So here when a coin is tossed, the probability of getting head is 1 by 2. Hence we are given P, probability of head is 1 by 2. And Q, already we know it, 1 minus P, 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. N, number of coins thrown at a time, 4 coins. And N, how many times the experiment occurred, 160 times. So according to binomial probability law, P of R is equal to N C R P to the power of R Q to the power of N minus R. Every problem we are applying this law, binomial probability law. Now P of R is equal to N. How much is the N value here? 4. So 4 C R. P is half. 1 by 2 to the power of R. 1 by 2 to the power of 4 minus R. Now expected frequency. To find the expected frequency, we multiply P of R with N, capital N. How many times we are throwing the coins? 160 times. So 160 into P of R, you will get the expected frequency. That's what we have to find out. Now see, expected frequency as per binomial distribution. By making this table, we are finding our expected frequency. First, number of heads in a throw. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Zero heads. That means no head at all. One head or two head or three head or all the four coins will show head. Now expected frequency, P of 0 is equal to 4C0, half to the power of 0, half to the power of 4 minus 0. P of 1, 4C1, half to the power of 1, half to the power of 4 minus 1. Then P of 2, 4C2, half to the power of 2, half to the power of 4 minus 2. P of 3, 4C3, half to the power of 3, half to the power of 4 minus 3. P of 4, 4C4, half to the power of 4 half to the power of 4 minus 4. Now we have to find out this. First of all, NCR, 4C0, 4C1, 4C2, 4C3, 4C2. Actually, this NCR can be calculated by applying the formula or by using Pascal's triangle. 
if only once you have you want to calculate ncr we can apply the formula ncr is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial this is the formula we apply to calculate ncr if only once we have to calculate but here we have to calculate one two three four five five times so if you apply the formula for five times it will be time consuming so to reduce the time to save the time it is better to use pascal's triangle to find out the value of ncr without applying the formula directly in this pascal's triangle we can calculate how to calculate now i am going to show explain listen carefully because in examination you have to apply this pascal's triangle to find out ncr so n how how much is the value of n 4 so simply take 1 2 3 4 that's it now for first n is equal to 1 take two ones parallel side by side leaving some gap in between 1 1 for n is equal to 1 take two ones 1 1 apart now come to 2 n is equal to 2 now add up 1 plus 1 it will be equal to 2 so 1 plus 1 center me in the center write on 2 then again left side you write on 1 right side you write on 1 extreme left 1 extreme right 1 2 over now n is equal to 3 now again you add up 2 plus 1 3 in middle you write on 3 2 plus 1 3 in the middle center you write on 3 again you write on 1 1 at the extreme right and left 3 over now fourth last one 3 plus 1 4 center right on 3 plus 3 6 center you write on 3 plus 1 4 again you write on 1 1 at the extreme right and left over now first one is 4c0 the 4 value is 4c1 6 is 4c2 4 is 4c3 1 is 4c4 even if you calculate by this formula you are going to get this value same values that is the advantage in one stroke itself we can get all the value of ncr by using Pascal's time. Otherwise, we have to apply this formula to calculate NCR. So we got all 4C0, 4C1, 4C2, all the values. Now, half to the power of 0 and half to the power of 4 minus 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Mathematics, one rule is there. When bases are same, powers can be added. Here, bases are same, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Powers can be added, 0 plus 4 is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 2 plus 2 4 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 0 4 so what do you observe in all these things the powers can be added so it will become half to the power of 4 1 by 2 to the power of 4 simply add up the powers powers you add up bases are same right so here i have written uh, mathematically when bases are same powers can be added so when powers are added 1 by 2 to the power of 4 in all these cases in all the cases 1 by 2 to the power of 4 so 1 is multiplied 4 times 1 2 is multiplied 4 times 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 2 is a 16 so 1 by 16 so in all these cases you will get 1 by 16 now we simplify p of 0 is equal to 4 c 0 4 c 0 is 1 1 into half to the power of 4, half to the power of 4 is 1 by 16. So ultimately P of 0 is 1 by 16. So here I have taken 1 by 16. Now P of 1, 4C1, how much is 4C1 here? 4. So 4 into 1 by 16, 4 by 16. P of 2, P of 2 is uh, 4C2, 6. So 6 into 1 by 16 is 6 by 16. Last one, P of 3. P of 3 is 4C3, it is 4. So 4 into 1 by 16 is 4 by 16. Last one, 4C4 is 1. So 1 into 1 by 16 is 1 by 16. So we got P of R. Now, we want the expected frequencies, ER. That means multiply the probability uh, P of R with N. N is how much? The capital N, 160. Capital N is 160. Multiply 160 into 1 by 16. So 160 by 16, you will get 10. 160 into 4 by 16, 
तो 40 160 into 6 by 16 60 160 into 4 by 16 40 160 into 1 by 16 10 if you add up all you must get n is equal to 160 because actual frequency total and expected frequency total must be same here 160 actual frequency total here expected frequency total 160 that's all so this is the first problem where we have calculated expected frequency as per binomial distribution this is the procedure that's all so we have completed nine problems inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your group among your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed give your comments and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video